Hey, pretty girl. You look awfully skinny today. Did you lay some eggs? Maybe. Oh my god, you did lay some eggs! Oh, you guys are gonna be a mommy and daddy. You guys are such a cute couple. LOL, you are just a one night stand. Dude, I just love collecting eggs. It always feels like Christmas when I do. Okay, let's see, how many did I get? Dude, for collar lizards, bro, look how big these eggs are, man. Like, look, that's like the tip of my pinky. Like, compared to my chameleon eggs, these are like four times the size, maybe even bigger. All right, let's set that there. Got one. And also, dude, like, they're really squishy at first. Like, dude, it's squishier than a marshmallow. Here's another one. Where's all your other eggs? Let's see, where are you? Let's see, where'd you bury your other eggs, girl? Huh, that's weird. Okay, I found another one. It makes four. Let's see, is there any more? Dude, that's so weird. This is like the smallest clutch that I've ever had of collar lizard eggs. And there's only four of them. I mean, it is her first clutch, so I should give her a little break on that. But also like, dude, check out the difference between this one. I think I have one bad egg. Oops. So like, see this one? This one is a little bit squishy, but it's still like a good egg. But then look at this one. Look at that. It just kind of like, it's just super soft. Like, dude, I honestly don't know how I feel about this egg. Like just see, compare the two next to each other. Look at that, and look at that. This is just like making me think it's a total slug. Man, that's a bummer, but hey, you never know though. All right, I'm gonna put them in the container now. <sighs> Actually, I'm gonna rinse my eggs off first real quick. All right, we'll set this guy right here. Bam, that's a beautiful egg. This one's a little squishy, but that's typically how I'm used to feeling them. And here's the bad egg, man. I'm just so, ugh, like dude, doesn't feel right. And guys, you know, as I'm further looking at these eggs, I'm just thinking to myself like, dude, this is seriously like the worst clutch that I've ever gotten when it comes to color lizards. Like, dude, that egg, bro, like, I don't think it's gonna make it at all. And there's a second one right here I'm kind of iffy on too. I don't know, they're just a little too squishy. And then I was thinking to myself like, hey, there's probably a good reason why they came out slugs and then it dawned on me. I totally remember like those collar lizards right there in that enclosure. I didn't put them through brumatia at all this year for breeding. Like for instance, they have to go in the wine cooler for like 55 degrees for like three months at a time. I know, isn't that crazy how they actually do that? You know, it was really scary at first when I did that, but no, they totally are champs. They're super hardy lizards, but back to the eggs. But yeah, and I'm thinking since they didn't go through brumation, and now that I think about it, I'm just thinking like, man, that's probably why these aren't good eggs. Like the male sperm, it probably just wasn't fertile at all. Like when I put them together, I was not expecting them to breed at all this year. It honestly is kind of a bummer that like this clutch sucks, but hey, I wasn't planning on it and getting these eggs, so it is what it is. But just for the heck of it, I'm gonna draw on these eggs because I like doing that now. But uh, now I'm wondering to myself, what should I draw on them? Hmm, think, think, think. I got it. Okay, so for this egg, I decided to draw a star on it. I mean, like it was the best egg out of them all. So like, hey, why not make this one the star child? And now for this egg I'm gonna do, for this one I drew, I just drew a crescent moon on it. Star, sun, moon, that's the theme I'm gonna go for. I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm a little worried that I'm, I'm kinda a little scared that I might pop this one if I'm not extra careful. And then here's the sun egg. It kind of sucks to be honest. There's a lot of sand on it, so I got a little worried about popping it. And for the last egg, I'm not even gonna try that one, dude. I'm really expecting that one just to rot. Now, if it wasn't so squishy, I'd probably just draw a lump of coal onto it. All right, let's close these up and get them in the incubator. Oh, real quick, before we put them in the incubator, I wanna show you guys this. So this is my collar lizard eggs. And then these are some chameleon eggs. You see the size differences that I was talking about? Like, dude, literally that's like five times as big as that little puny egg. Also guys, look at this. On these eggs, I drew a bunch of emojis on it. And if you haven't seen that video yet, I'll leave it right up here so you can watch it. All right, let's put these in. Oh, dude, I wanna show you guys this. Like, dude, this is actually really cool too. So guys, I recently, the other day, actually collected two clutches of electric blue day gecko eggs. And what's really cool is that geckos actually lay only two eggs at a time. And like, dude, they're so tiny, man. Like you thought those chameleon eggs are tiny? No, check these ones out. Like, dude, that thing is so freaking small, man. Now this is like probably only half the size of a jelly bean. You know, out of all the eggs that I got in the incubator, I'm really excited for the electric blue day geckos, man. And if you guys haven't seen those before, dude, 
these things are so cool like they only get up to like three and a half inches and like just like the name states dude that electrifying blue is just so freaking awesome dude and like dude these guys are such a fun display pet dude you totally love them look at this one so see this is one of my males right here and just man dude my blazing blue collar lizards are really blue but the blues on the electric blue day gecko is like man i think these guys are the kings of blues out of all reptiles that there is if you guys ever thought about getting one stay tuned i might be able to hook you up but all right, let's get back to the collar lizards now. So guys, usually when my females lay eggs, I usually love to feed them right away, give them calcium because like, dude, laying eggs is totally exhausting. So let's get to feeding these little suckers. Oh, hey, you fine little yummy. I know you're hungry after all that. Oh, you want some too, girl? Yeah, come on. Eat up, babies. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, well, you're the one who just laid eggs. Ooh, yeah, you get that, girl. Nom, 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 nom. Man, I love the way, I love these guys so much, dude. They're just so much fun to, like, feed. Like, seriously, guys, collar lizards are, like, totally my favorite pet lizard ever, dude. And they're so beautiful. You're such a good girl. Thank you for giving me eggs. I love you. Yeah, I kind of like you, too. Just a little bit. Hey, first one to finish the worm gets the poop on Ryan's hand. Hee <laughs> hee. I'll see you later, Ryan. But when it comes to all of my collar lizards, this guy is my favorite. This is my all-star Lynx, dude. Like, dude, check him out, bro. Look at that deep royal blue. Like, tell me, how do you not like that, man? Like, seriously, he is my mascot. And like, dude, these guys honestly are way cooler of a pet than a bearded dragon. Like, dude, they're smaller, they're hardier, they're prettier. And look, dude, that face. I love you, Lynx. Such a pretty boy. But yeah, you guys should totally consider getting a collar lizard. They're freaking amazing, dude. And if you guys ever want to learn how to care for one, then check out this video right here. And thanks for joining the vlog today, guys. My name's Ryan, this is Cora, and you're watching Mighty Morphin Reptiles.